Hey friends, Rob here doing a response and review a movie I seen a trailer via YouTube entitled Evil Dead coming at April 2013 and taking a poll via YouTube, give me your comments. Obviously this movie's about the dark side, about you know demonic activity, it's a horror movie, you know the drill, but if you believe the devil's real, demons are real, angels, witchcraft, the horoscopes, Ouija boards, tarot cards, etc., give me your comments on this. Now the reality is, is Never underestimate your opponent, but never overestimate your opponent. The reality is, is God did create Lucifer in the Bible. Now, I'm a minister of the gospel. I'll tell you the story in about 137 seconds and counting. In the book of Ezekiel, God did create the devil. His name was Lucifer. The enemy came and he said to God, I want to ascend you. I will to ascend thee. In other words, I don't want to just be like you. I want to be greater than you. And God says, let me put this into perspective, my friend. Well, not his friend. They're not friends. But I, I'm the creation. You're the creator. And you're going to serve me. And the, you know, Lucifer said, no, I want to be greater than you. By the way, he was a chief musician in heaven. He was in charge of worship. The Bible says he had cherubs built into his, basically, his lungs or his voice box, whatever. It's a whole other story. So God cast the enemy out of heaven. One third of the angels are now hurled onto the earth with him. Is That's where you get his number is 666, the number of the beast, the number of man. So the reality is, is God created the enemy. He's a million times more powerful. It's not even a close match, to be honest with you. But the enemy is real. Demons are real. I'm a minister of the gospel. I've cast devils out of people through the power of the Holy Holy Spirit. They are real. You don't want a monkey. You don't want to mess with this stuff. Obviously, this movie is about some sort of demonic activity. I don't know the whole unfolding story. It's sort of like, you know, movies when we were growing up called The Exorcist, whatever. So, friends, the reality is, is God's love is greater than anything. If you never accepted Christ, the Bible's very clear in the book of John, third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, he gave as a gift his only Son, that if you would believe, receive, submit your life to Christ, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting, eternal life. And God desires no one to perish, he wants all to have the insurance that when we all take our last breath, we're going to make heaven our home. The only way we can have, have that it's by having our lives surrendered and submitted to Jesus. Desire to recite a simple prayer after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Remember, the Lord comes by invitation only. He'll never make you serve him. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel by YouTube. Go for it at the subscribe button. Also on the Rob Wood one, the search. Many of the ministry videos where I do expound, I talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed today.